Remote Services is a system of hardware and software that allows our son Christopher to live independent of us and provides a, a vehicle for his safety and for some of his daily routines and it allows him to live alone. Kind of noisy over there. I didn't like it, but I like my own space and stuff. I like living here. It's quiet, peaceful, and stuff. I need these cameras to help me so I can do what I need to do. With Nate, it's all black and white. So you can have four really good providers coming in and one that's causing a problem, and he wants a whole team gone. So when the remote monitoring came in, it was great. It provided us more privacy than we ever had with providers. Uh, I was like getting older. I graduated from like high school and I just kind of wanted to live on my own. I'm at, and I'm at the point that I just don't need to be with people that I uh, don't really know anymore. And remote monitoring has helped out. Remote monitoring is providing homemaker personal care services like we've always done, providing direct support services using technology to do that now. So whereas we used to have a staff person that's always in the home caring for someone with a disability, now we can have that same professionally trained staff person that is in a monitoring center and providing that same service to the person from afar. What we do is we have a, uh, a video monitor um, within the home. It's a touchscreen computer and it enables them to talk face to face with our caregivers. It's still support, but it's at a distance. And so we still want that human to human, face to face connection. The relationships we form with the individuals, it's a friendship is what it is. And the families, we meet them. They come visit during monitoring hours. And like I said, when we get a door alarm, we check in. They say, hey, you know, they get to know us over time and they're comfortable with us. Probably the biggest concern is the health and safety part. Um, how can you make sure that uh, my loved one is safe at home, that nobody comes in and talks them out of their money or medication or anything like that? My initial was, are they gonna be able to do everything that we really would like them to do for us to feel confident enough that Christopher is going to be safe. There isn't a doubt in our minds that he is safe. We receive an ISP on each individual, which is an individual specific plan. It lists all their needs, all the issues, and then we do a training on them. We, I communicate with their team, their SSA, their HPC providers make sure we're providing the best service we can for them. Typically when I'm, when I'm out speaking about remote monitoring, people are always asking about cameras or they assume that there are cameras in the homes. And, and you know, in actuality, yes, there can be. And in many sites that we have, there are cameras in the homes, but there are many sites that we have that there are not. When, when we use cameras in an individual's home, it is not a camera that's just always on. Because those cameras are not on, unless there's an activity that has triggered that. They actually have one camera, which is down here, and they don't use it all the time. It has infrared so they can see at night in here. They use it if there's a concern or they need to look. There's motion sensors throughout the house so they know what he's doing or where he's moving because I never really knew what he was doing at night. A lot of times I think that there, there are um, people who could use remote monitoring to have independence and it reduces the amount of staff that you need and it also helps providers, most importantly, it helps providers maybe be able to serve more people because they don't have to serve the person with remote monitoring. And again, in remote monitoring there's always somebody there. There's always somebody there. They really just push a button and somebody comes up on a screen and it's monitored and if they have an emergency, you know, there, there are ways to make sure that that person is safe. The remote monitoring staff that we use are direct support professionals. These are people that are used to being in the homes providing this service, but in this particular circumstance, you see the person on a screen. You see them on a two-way video screen, or you can talk to them on the phone. You know, the, it, it, it's custom for whatever the person feels comfortable with. But the idea is that now they are in their home, alone, free and independent, 
but they can access this person instead of feeling like there's someone standing over their shoulder all the time. Now on demand, this person is there. And the neat thing is that they will know those people. Those direct support professionals know the people that they're monitoring. They know their, their service plan. They know exactly who they are, what they like. They know if they're going to, to mom's house for dinner Friday night. You know, they just, they know them because they do life together. It's awesome. It, it's a really good feeling, knowing we're helping them become more independent and they trust us. And they enjoy knowing we're there. You know, if they had a bad day, they'll call and talk to us. If they've had a great day, that's something they like to share with us. It's just really nice having that bond with them. I think that all of us in this field need to recognize that we maybe have not done every single thing we can to promote independence with people. And technology is a huge part of that. Um, so I, I really believe that if we look at a person, you do a, a deep dive into their world to help them, that a lot of people would say, I would rather have independence. I want to try this. I want to do something new. And, you know, I think remote monitoring is one of those things that can help. Imagine if your pipe dream in life was to spend two hours by yourself in your own home without anybody there to walk in and smell up your home, without anybody there to criticize the television show you want to watch. Just imagine if that was the pipe dream that seems out of reach. And now you have a chance to achieve that. And so the more that we do to keep the people that we love from expressing that independence in our life, we're holding them back. We'll worry about the technology, you know, we'll figure out what is exactly right for that person in that home, but what that technology is gonna do is simply link them up with another human being that loves them and cares for them and wants to see them succeed no matter what. I understand being apprehensive, but these are people that truly care and love their job.